In mathematics, a normed vector space is a vector space over the real or complex numbers, on which a norm is defined. A norm is the formalization and the generalization to real vector spaces of the intuitive notion of distance in the real world. A norm is a real-valued function defined on the vector space that has the following properties. The zero vector, zero, has zero length, every other vector has a positive length. X zero display style x geq zero and x equals zero display style x equals zero if and only if x equals zero display style x equals zero multiplying a vector by a positive number changes its length without changing its direction moreover alpha x equals alpha x display style alpha x equals alpha x for any scalar alpha display style alpha the triangle inequality holds that is taking norms as distances the distance from point a through b to c is never shorter than going directly from a to c or the shortest distance between any two points is a straight line x plus y x plus y display style x plus y leq x plus y for any vectors x and y triangle inequality the generalization of these three properties to more abstract vector spaces leads to the notion of norm a vector space on which a norm is defined is then called a normed space or normed vector space Normed vector spaces are central to the study of linear algebra and functional analysis. Topic: <laughs> Definition. A normed vector space is a pair V display style V C D O T where V display style V is a vector space and display style cdot a norm on v display style v a seminormed vector space is a pair v p display style v p where v display style v is a vector space and p display style p a seminorm on v display style v we often omit p display style p or display style c d o t and just write v display style v for a space if it is clear from the context what semi norm we're using in a more general sense, a vector norm can be taken to be any real-valued function that satisfies the three properties above. A useful variation of the triangle inequality is x minus y x minus y display style x y g e q x y for any vectors x and y, this also shows that a vector norm is a continuous function. Note that property 2 depends on a choice of norm alpha display style alpha on the field of scalars. When the scalar field is R display style math B R or more generally a subset of C display style math b c this is usually taken to be the ordinary absolute value but other choices are possible for example for a vector space over q 
Display style math b q. One could take alpha display style alpha to be the p-adic norm, which gives rise to a different class of normed vector spaces. Topic: Topological structure. If V is a normed vector space, the norm induces a metric a notion of distance and therefore a topology on V. This metric is defined in the natural way. The distance between two vectors U and V is given by U minus V. This topology is precisely the weakest topology which makes continuous and which is compatible with the linear structure of V in the following sense. The vector addition plus v times v v is jointly continuous with respect to this topology. This follows directly from the triangle inequality. The scalar multiplication k times v v, where k is the underlying scalar field of v, is jointly continuous. This follows from the triangle inequality and homogeneity of the norm. Similarly, for any semi normed vector space, we can define the distance between two vectors u and v as u minus v. This turns the semi normed space into a pseudometric space, notice this is weaker than a metric, and allows the definition of notions such as continuity and convergence. To put it more abstractly every semi-normed vector space is a topological vector space and thus carries a topological structure which is induced by the semi-norm. Of special interest are complete normed spaces called Banach spaces. Every normed vector space V sits as a dense subspace inside a Banach space. This Banach space is essentially uniquely defined by V and is called the completion of V. All norms on a finite dimensional vector space are equivalent from a topological viewpoint as they induce the same topology although the resulting metric spaces need not be the same. And since any Euclidean space is complete, we can thus conclude that all finite dimensional normed vector spaces are Banach spaces. A normed vector space V is locally compact if and only if the unit ball B equals x, x1 is compact, which is the case if and only if V is finite dimensional, this is a consequence of Riesz's lemma. In fact, a more general result is true, a topological vector space is locally compact if and only if it is finite dimensional. The point here is that we don't assume the topology comes from a norm. The topology of a seminormed vector space has many nice properties. Given a neighborhood system n 0 display style mathcal n 0 around 0 we can construct all other neighborhood systems as n x equals x plus n Zero equals x plus n n element of n zero display style mathcal n x equals x plus mathcal n zero equals x plus n mid n in mathcal n zero with x plus N equals x plus n n element of n display style x plus n equals x plus n mid n in n. Moreover, there exists a neighborhood basis for zero consisting of absorbing and convex sets. As this property is very useful in functional analysis, generalizations of normed vector spaces with this property are studied under the name locally convex spaces. <laughs> <laughs> Linear maps and dual spaces The most important maps between two normed vector spaces are the continuous linear maps. Together with these maps, normed vector spaces form a category. The norm is a continuous function on its vector space. 
all linear maps between finite dimensional vector spaces are also continuous. An isometry between two normed vector spaces is a linear map f which preserves the norm meaning f v equals v for all vectors v. Isometries are always continuous and injective. A surjective isometry between the normed vector spaces v and w is called an isometric isomorphism, and v and w are called isometrically isomorphic. Isometrically isomorphic normed vector spaces are identical for all practical purposes. When speaking of normed vector spaces, we augment the notion of dual space to take the norm into account. The dual v of a normed vector space v is the space of all continuous linear maps from v to the base field, the complexes or the reals. Such linear maps are called functionals. The norm of a functional phi is defined as the supremum of phi v, where v ranges over all unit vectors, i.e. vectors of norm 1 in v. This turns v into a normed vector space. An important theorem about continuous linear functionals on normed vector spaces is the Hahn Banach theorem. <laughs> normed spaces as quotient spaces of seminormed spaces The definition of many normed spaces, in particular, Banach spaces, involves a seminorm defined on a vector space and then the normed space is defined as the quotient space by the subspace of elements of seminorm 0. For instance, with the LP spaces, the function defined by f p equals f x p d x 1 p display style f underscore p equals left int f x caret p dx right caret 1 p is a seminorm on the vector space of all functions on which the Lebesgue integral on the right hand side is defined and finite. However, the seminorm is equal to zero for any function supported on a set of Lebesgue measure zero. These functions form a subspace which we quotient out, making them equivalent to the zero function. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Finite product spaces. Given n seminorm spaces Xi with seminorms Qi, we can define the product space as x equals i equals 1 n x i display style x equals prod underscore i equals 1 caret n x underscore i with vector addition defined as x 1 x n plus y 1 y n equals x 1 plus y 1 x n plus y n Display style x underscore one L dots x underscore N plus Y underscore one L dots Y underscore N equals x underscore one plus Y underscore one L dots x underscore N plus Y underscore N and scalar multiplication defined as alpha x one x N equals alpha x 1 alpha x n display style alpha x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n equals alpha x underscore 1 l dots alpha x underscore n we define a new function q q x R 
display style q x mapsto math b r for example as q x 1 x n i equals 1 n q i x i Display style q sad face x underscore one l dots x underscore n to sum underscore i equals one carrot n q underscore i x underscore i, which is a seminorm on x. The function q is a norm if and only if all q are norms. More generally, for each real p one, we have the seminorm q x one x n i equals 1 n q i x i p 1 p Display style q sad face x underscore one l dots x underscore n two left sum underscore i equals one carrot n q underscore i x underscore i carrot p right carrot frac one p. For each p, this defines the same topological space. A straightforward argument involving elementary linear algebra shows that the only finite dimensional seminorm spaces are those arising as the product space of a norm space and a space with trivial seminorm. Consequently, many of the more interesting examples and applications of seminorm spaces occur for infinite dimensional vector spaces. Topic See also Locally convex space, generalizations of seminormed vector spaces Banach space, normed vector spaces which are complete with respect to the metric induced by the norm Inner product space, normed vector spaces where the norm is given by an inner product Finsler manifold, where the length of each tangent vector is determined by a norm space mathematics <laughs> <laughs>